Hi everyone and welcome to St Mary's Abbey for some more golf stories. Built by William the Conqueror in 1088, St Mary's Abbey was once the wealthiest and most powerful abbeys in the north of England. The abbey was home to around 50 Benedictine monks and 200 servants. The monks spent their days working in the abbey, where they provided food for the monastery, managing the abbey's estates and helping the poor. By 1541, St Mary's Abbey was stripped and left deserted as King Henry VIII banned all monasteries in England. What we see here today are all that remains of St Mary's Abbey, a stripped shell of what we can only now imagine of how this place once looked. Now one of the stories that St Mary's Abbey is quite famous for is that of the drunken monk. Jucundius, one of the monks at St Mary's Abbey, decided one day to visit the local fair. Faced by the alcohol-fueled crowds and cheerful atmosphere, it wouldn't be long until the monk was tempted by the demon drink. Later on that day, Jucundius was found drunk by two other monks, and for this grave breach of monastic vows, Jucundius was sentenced to be bricked up alive. Facing a long, lingering death, Jucundius was taken to his cell and bricked up by his fellow monks. All the time, he sat slumped against a wall, feeling absolutely devastated. Being quite a largely built man, the newly built walls soon gave way, and Jucundius fell through and into the grounds of St Mary's Abbey. The monk never learnt his lesson, as history repeated itself yet again. As the years passed by, Jucundius became quite a popular man, with his jovial nature and kind personality, which led him to promotion, which was looking after the beer and wine cellars at St Mary's Abbey. Now being the chief wine and beer tester, Jucundius was sent to test the wines for a local feast, but he never returned. Later on that day, he was again discovered in a drunken state, slumped against the beer barrels in the wine cellar. For a second time now, Jucundus was severely punished and was again immediately bricked up alive in his cell. Unbelievably, Jucundius, still in a drunken state, fell and yet again broke down the walls of his cell. Still intoxicated, Jucundius began to cheerfully sing and was heard by others who ran out to see what all the noise was about. At first believing he was a ghost, they quickly realised that he was still alive and hailed it as a miracle by shouting, Jucundius has risen from the dead. According to their beliefs, Jucundius' return from the dead was seen as a sign from God and he was soon elected to rule as the new prior of St Mary's Abbey. Regular sightings of the spirits of monks have been encountered around York for decades. Dark hooded figures strolling through York's historic cobble streets and then vanish into nowhere. York's dungeon is believed to be the home of three ghostly monks, spotted on occasion walking in line. Visitors frequently hear whispers and voices, believing at first someone is there, only to discover that they are alone. Okay, so we're off to our next location now for some brand new ghost stories.